Hi, it's from Castle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest video. This is an easy one. Another Skyrim project. If you follow my Skyrim projects, this one is an easy one. See, it is Maroonie's Razor. All right, from Skyrim. Easy project. Foam board or cardboard. You could use cardboard. And it's got this nice section in here that I like. This is aluminum foil to give it that textured metal look. So this is an easy project. It's only three layers, three layers. So if you've never done one of my projects, you might want to start with this one. Of course, I give you the template, just about everything you need there. And you can make it, just some aluminum foil, some foam board, and some paint. Uh, let's launch into the introductory video, and then we will launch into the tutorial on how to make Maroonie's Razor from Skyrim. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is print up the template that comes, it's right there, it's a link right there on the web page. And I tape the two pieces together, because it's larger than one sheet of paper. And then cut out the overall shape on the outside. And then place that on your foam board or cardboard and trace it out. And if you use cardboard, make the corrugations go the long ways, the long ways of the sword. Don't have the corrugations go side to side. It'll be too weak. It'll bend too easily. And then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Now this is the centerpiece of the dagger. So take the template and now cut out the inside area, inside the blade. And then it becomes a new template. Now place that on your phone board or cardboard and make two of these. Now, you actually want that, uh, that thin strip all the way around the edge of the blade. So you're going to cut out the center section there. So make two. One goes on the other side, one goes on each side. And then cut those out. And there you go, you have your three pieces and you glue them together. Uh, we use a hot glue gun, just like that. Looks great. Now those thin strips are a little bit tricky. If you have trouble with those, it's okay. Don't throw it out. You can just glue it right onto the centerpiece easily. If it breaks or it tears or something like that, that's okay. And then use a piece of sandpaper to smooth out all the rough edges. Now we're going to put the aluminum foil in the middle. And this is like an extra little fun little thing to do. It adds a little bit of texture to the blade. So put some glue in there and get, really get the glue in the corners and uh, crinkle up some aluminum foil and then place it right in there and use your finger to press it into the corner so it looks really good. That's a fun project, really kind of easy. Um, you can do this in an hour and a half probably and you can have your first Skyrim weapon. And then uh, once the glue is dried, tear out or cut out all the excess foil. Just like that. And I'll be, be sure to do the other side, too. You know, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. You know, I, I, I try to do two videos a week, um, and I have lots and lots of stuff coming. So we're just about done. Paint it up. Now, we use an enamel silver for this, because foam board sometimes is a little bit tricky. You know, the enamel sticks to it pretty well. Yeah, 
and then some brown on the handle part. Now we're just going to finish it up with a little bit of black. A little black in the knurled part down there in the pommel. And then uh, uh, fake leather wrapping on the handle, you know, to draw some black lines across it at an angle like this. Now you can have some fun with some uh, markers or some sharpies or something like that and do a little bit of detail work. Uh, the Maroonie's razor has some lines like this and it's kind of neat looking. And that's just about it. If you make this, uh, send me a picture. I'll put it on the website. Let's take one more look at it. There you go. All done. Looks great. Uh, thanks for watching. And now I'll, I'll show you a, a few other videos that you might be interested in. A couple of them are Skyrim. From uh, clockwise, from the upper left there, that's the Dawnbreaker with a light in it. Uh, and then we get the God of War swords, swords, um, the uh, Dragon Priest mask from Skyrim, and and just for fun, a little tiny mousetrap catapult there on the bottom left.